I didn't get a countdown. For shame. So hey y'all, usually it does a, you know, three, two, one. It didn't happen this time. <clears throat> you know, Facebook keeps changing things and um, if they just left things alone, everybody would be happy. But no, Facebook has to keep um, changing the way they do things. So anyway, let's make sure I'm all situated here. It's Monday, February 5th. Last night was Super Bowl. Kind of half watched. Um, I wasn't pleased by much of any. This is like the lamest Super Bowl I've seen in years. I didn't care for um, many of the commercials. Justin Timberlake, I was really excited to see him, but he didn't put on the show I expected him to. So, disappointed there. So, it just it was very underwhelming. So, and plus, um, my husband had to work. I was here by myself, so that probably had a lot to do with it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Monday. And supposedly, the, um, like, today's, like, one of the most, um, was one of the biggest days that people call in, to, call in sick because they were all, you know, up late watching the game. Which I say up late. In my head, I'm like, why so late? But one of the advantages of living on this side of the country is, um, it started, the game started at like four o'clock for us. So it was over by nine or nine o'clock. It was over by like eight thirty. Yeah. So it wasn't late for us, but I can imagine, um, yeah, on the other side of the country is a lot later. So, yeah. No, me and Riley did not party it up last night. He slept on the couch and I, um, Organized a bunch of ideas and stuff that I have going on, and um, yeah, yeah, we we lived it up. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, hope y'all are doing well. Got a easy, super super easy night, y'all. This is one of those things that you guys can do for any occasion. I mean, and it's so inexpensive that um, there's no excuse, really, really. Um, if you have a friend's birthday coming up or an anniversary, you're going to a wedding, um, Christmas, you have Valentine's Day, these necklaces and magnets that we're going to do are so stupid easy that you guys are um, just going to laugh because it's one of those things that people think that you go on to Etsy or you go and order it somewhere and spend um, 20, 30 bucks. On something personalized and you've only spent like five bucks at the most so okay but first we are going to start with the flirtini martini next um wednesday a week from wednesday is valentine's day so i'm going to do a themed martini tonight and a themed martini next monday night and yeah that's it so the flirtini you're going to need um, some pineapple juice, you're going to need some vanilla vodka, and you're going to need some champagne. I had to go buy some champagne, and I went to World Market and bought one of these tiny little, I call them sample bottles, or travel size, I actually call them travel size bottles, because <laughs> it's like something you would pack like in a travel case or whatever. But, um, so... It's got to go in the shaker, so I'm going to hope that it does not um, explode because, you know, champagne's got bubbles, and um, if you shake it, it's going to, you know, anyway, <laughs> y'all get it. All right, you are going to need one and a half parts vanilla vodka. This bottle is lasting forever awesome one and a half parts vanilla vodka you are going to need let me move this stuff out of the way as I do it um four and a 4.25 parts one two three four 
and 0.25. Four and a quarter parts pineapple juice. And then you're going to need two parts champagne. Oh, let's see how this goes. I don't even like champagne. Then again, I've always had the cheap stuff, so um, that probably has a lot to do with it. <laughs> All right, it's already bubbling up, so I'm <laughs> interested to see how this goes. Obviously, you are not going to shake it hard. Obviously, if you shake that um, hard, it's going to explode. Bring them on camera. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody joined, and it said, evidently, I can bring people on camera now. What? They can join? Okay. Weird. And there I go, shaking like I usually do. Got champagne in there. So let's hope that when I open this in a second, it does not um, bubble out the top. Fortunately, y'all know me. I've already um, got that prepared. Okay, no. Good. <laughs> that would have been fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. So. All right, so let's check this out. This Flortini Martini. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, very good. And I still have some left in there. So that's always a um, win. Okay, move this out of the way. That was so in a second. I can spread out a little bit more. All right, and then supposedly you are supposed to add a cherry. I don't know if that's what makes it the Flirtini or not, but add a cherry. Yep. So let's check this thing out, see how good it is. And my hands feel sticky from that. So hmm. it's not bad. Not bad at all. Try do more vanilla vodka. More vanilla vodka. You, can, you can't taste it at all, which that's the problem is it that's what makes it, you know, dangerous when you can't taste it. All right. Like I said, tonight we are making magnets and necklaces. And like I said, this is like silly, silly, silly easy. I mean, you guys are just going to probably roll your eyes at um, how easy this is because... Again, it's one of those things that looks like it's um, a whole lot more expensive than it is, but it's not. Okay, so, of course, these are the magnets, which I did not put the um, magnet parts on them that I made real quick yesterday. Of course, I can't hold all of them in my hand. Those are the ones I made yesterday, just real quick. And then this is the necklace I started on last week. You can't see it. It's me and my husband and my dog. Yep. So there's part of what I was making. Yep. So necklaces and magnets. Okay, basically all you really need, the only things you really, really need is you need some of this, this E6000 glue. It, um, and you need clear. They have some that... Or, yeah, you need the transparent. There, are, there is some that is colored white. There's some black. But you need the transparent kind. Um, you can get them in the great big tubes. I like to get them in the small tubes because a lot of times when you open it, it just starts coming out. So I like to get the small tubes. Um, and you need kind of an old but good brush, paint brush, something that you don't mind um, if it gets ruined. It's okay. Only because this glue does dry pretty quickly. And if it dries on the paintbrush, it's very, very, very hard to um, wash out. And then the only other things you really, really need are you can get some of these clear, um, like bubble dots, I guess. They're flat on one side and they're domed. They're slightly domed on the other side. You can get them at um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's. I've never seen them at the dollar store. They've got um, the gems that go, you know, like in flower bases, but those aren't necessarily the best way to go. But they're flat on one side and they're slightly domed um, on the top, on the other side or whatever. 
So you need those, however many of those. If you want to do magnets, however many is in your set, um, however many um, necklaces you want to do. And as far as what you need next, um, if you're doing magnets, this is pretty much all you need, plus whatever paper, pictures, stickers, whatever you want to do. Um, if you're making a bracelet or a necklace or some kind of, you know, jewelry or whatever, you can get you can get these pieces at Hobby Lobby. This one's um, it's already got the little ring attached, so all you have to do is string the chain on. And if you notice, these little dome things fit perfectly inside. You can um, get the ones that are like this. Come in a package of just one. They're circular ones. Again, that fits perfectly inside. Um, they've got some that are square. I've got, you can buy the little kits that this is the pendant or whatever that would be on your necklace. And it comes with two pieces of glass, one to put on the front and one on the back. So like this has got one side. And then when I finish my necklace here in a little bit, I will have one to put on the other side. That way, so if it turns, my picture's on either side. But you can buy the little kits like that. And, um, but anyways, there's tons of options. They've got them where they've got the bracelets that have the little, the smaller domes and pendants. That way, so you can um, make bracelets. So that's basically all you really need. And of course, whatever pictures and stuff you um, want. All right, so what I've done is I have taken I took some of the pictures of, I mean, some of our dogs, it was us, um, there, and you shrink them down to the size of your um, dome. I've actually got, I'm using what's in this kit, which works the exact same way as these domes. So, in a second, I mean, you'll see. Anyways, you need to print your um, picture small enough. That way, so if you take your dome and put it, place it on top, it's going to fit the way that you want. Hope you can see that. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, so all you're going to do, really, seriously, like I said, it's going to be a really quick night. Take your, this E6000 glue. It does not smell lovely. So if you are in a contained room, Make sure you've got ventilation going or something. Take your, um, this is, I prefer to take my glue and paint it across the picture only because it's less messy that way. I've taken the glue, I've put it across my picture. I'm taking this clear piece that's gonna fit into my jewelry layer later, and I'm just placing it on top exactly where I want it to. Press it down. Make sure that um, if there's any bubbles in it, they're pressed out. Usually you can press them out. Um, usually you can roll the dome around just a tiny bit. That way so if there's any little bubbles or whatever. But after that, then you just gotta wait a couple hours and it'll be dry. So I've got one that is already dried right there. See, I told y'all, simple. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way. Now, this is where I, I've, I've shared this so many times. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite craft supplies is one of these X-Acto knives that have the blade that pivots, pivot, that pivots, it twirls, it's flexible, it um, swirls or whatever. That way, so if you're going around in a curve, it moves with you. So this one's already dry. All I'm gonna do is take my little X-Acto knife. I'm gonna go around the edge. And all I'm doing is cutting it out. This is fully dry. And of course it's glass, so please be careful. All right, there you go, look. So. Just like that. Done. So now I've got my little pendant that I started on last week. They all don't open up like this one. In fact, I thought that I got a defective one. 
and my husband actually figured it out. And all you're going to do, you know, like this pen, it just opens up like that, is you're going to put your pieces the way you want them. This took me a little bit on um, last week when I was trying it. You're just going to fit them inside. Just like that. Make sure they slide into the spot the way you want them to. And then stick your little, of course, I don't have it fit the way that, there it goes, I think. Yeah. No. Because I um, am on camera, it's not working. You all know how it is. This front piece needs to, it's probably better to put one at a time than um, trying to do both of them. Anyways, y'all get the idea. Let's see. I had the pieces fitting in perfectly the other day. Yeah, it's probably easier to put one piece in at a time just so you can make sure it's into the groove. Now, I've actually never used this kit before. I've used other ones and it has worked very well. That's what it is. They're not um, matching. They're not. Either way, though, this is the one where you push it together and you put your little lid on, your little fasten it. And then all you have to do is put your chain on it. And then, of course, if you want to add any gems, any beads, anything else, like people like um, all those little like birthstones, stones, and maybe they've got um, hobbies, so you want to add, um, you know, gems and pieces that reflect that. So um, decorate the way you want. Add some color to it. Um, their initials, whatever, and um, they find you a nice little jewelry box, and. Um, you're good to go once you put the chain on. So there you go. See, just like that. And again, um, if you wanted to, now I will show you something. If you get a one inch hole punch, circle punch, you can, um, if you want to, let's do this. Circle your um, or put your picture of course I can't do it you can use the circle punch to um, cut out your picture of course this one doesn't fit and then of course you could um, then glue it onto one of your doodads and then stick it on your necklace and you're done just like that all right so that's your necklace hold you super 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 easy now it's time for the magnets and again you can't get much more simple and this is i mean again this is something really really easy for a child to do um pick whatever paper you want whatever stickers i um got these little tiny Letter stickers, you can use, um, I've got this great big page of stickers here, and this one says like my number one. I'm gonna take that little circle off, and I'm just gonna stick it anywhere I want, right there on my paper. Take these flat stones, do dance again, and all I'm gonna do is brush some of this glue across it. I'm gonna add my dot and I'm just gonna leave it there a couple hours, let it dry. And then again, all you have to do is take that fancy knife, it's sliding down. <laughs> take that fancy knife, cut around it. And then, once you have done that, all you have to do then is find you some good, where did they go? Strong magnets. They've got great big magnets like that. 
You can get magnet sheets or whatever. Just make sure they're unstrong. And most of them come with the sticky back, so you just pull the sticker part off and you stick it to the back. And now you got magnets, just like that. So, um, like I said, if you want, you can um, go and where'd my hole punch go? I see, I see blue. You can cut out your um, circle. You can take your um, whatever sticker, initial picture, your um, maybe you sign something, maybe you write something. It doesn't matter. Um, so if you want to do it this way, you can. And then for me, at this point, it's a whole lot easier for you to add glue to the back of your um, disc. And then just press it to the back. And the only reason why I prefer to do it onto the paper like this first is because when you are waiting for this to dry, sometimes the paper or the dot slides just a tiny bit. So you end up with a little bit edge hanging off. So um, it's a whole lot easier to let it dry um, on the paper like that. But again, you just let it dry for a couple hours, not even that long probably. And um, the glue will dry clear and transparent. It'll be perfect. So that's it. See, I told y'all, super, super, super easy. So any questions? Did it look too difficult? <laughs> Again, and thing is, you can, if you want, go to Hobby Lobby and you can get you like a little four pack or six pack of these things. But if you go on, if you if you're wanting to make like a lot of them, go on to Amazon and type in like clear one inch domes or one inch beads, and you can find packs of like fifty or a hundred of them for like six bucks, something like that. Really cheap. Um, one of the things that I made a couple years ago, it's awesome for kids. Go to the Dollar Tree and get you a, um, just a cookie sheet, dollar cookie sheet, and all the glass domes, put one letter of the alphabet under each one, and the numbers zero through nine, a little magnet on the back, and you have a little magnet board. So it's perfect for if you're um, traveling, if you need a quiet activity, if you're a teacher and you need um, like a quiet nap time activity, that is something that you can pull out. Um, put little pictures of, um, you know, people in there, um, whatever you want. I mean, like I said, you can customize these things to however which way you want. Perfect. So um, there you go. I just made a necklace and a couple of magnets in um, less than 15 minutes. Pretty darn good, huh? <laughs> All right, so next week I'm debating with myself. I have a, um, I sh actually, I don't know why I thought to do it, but um, I thought to try out the recipe that I had for this next week strawberry cheesecake cookies and um the way the recipe was written the way the directions were written it did not go well it was extremely messy and um i was extremely doubtful that they would turn out surprisingly they turned out wonderful they taste incredibly awesome but they are very 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 messy so, I'm not sure if I'm going to do those next week. I have another recipe that is a little more boring. Um, it, I mean, it looks good, but um, definitely not as good as the ones that I made this last week. They're so, so soft. They're so flavorful. They're so awesome. So, anyways, my intentions next Monday are on strawberry cheesecake cookies. Um, and the martini is going to be 
the sweetie martini. Like I said, another themed one. Um, yeah. So there you go. Please, please, please do me a favor and make sure you guys send me your ideas. If you find any martini recipes that look good, if you find any craft ideas, if you need help organize up, organize, organizing anything, please send me your ideas. Um, if you're struggling with activities for your children during a specific time, whatever, shoot me your ideas and um, I'll post about them or maybe do a Facebook Live. Um, any help I can get, I will take it. So. Uh, make sure, of course, you are getting notifications that Marty's Amanda is live. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, you know, all that. So um, I guess now it's time to say goodbye. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday night. And I will see you all next Monday. Bye.